Hello and welcome to Alchemist Swim. I am Alchemist Jen. Thanks for joining me today. Happy day to you. Uh, today's whim of the day is to talk a little bit about yarny things and knit a little bit. So I am making a little bit of progress, though I still have to make some more progress on some yarn things. So I took some skeins and made them into balls. And then I take the balls and make them into tubes. So I still have not dyed these. No, I've not, even though I've been talking about it forever. So I'm getting closer, very, very close. Um, so the cool thing with these is I'm going to lay them out on the table, uh, saran wrap, and then apply the dye in thick stripes. So one color, two color, three color, maybe four. It uh, depends on how many I want to do, and then repeat that through the stretch roll that baby up so that it's all sealed in in that um, saran wrap and then take that collected awesome ball of amazingness that will fit very very snugly in that saran wrap and then stick it into a big steamer pot. So um, I'll be able to do um, multiple batches that way so they'll be all snug and wrapped up and then the thing that activates the dye is heat so being able to steam it will just activate everything and it basically the dye connects with the citric acid and that connects through the heat and then the magic happens and then the yarn is dyed so that's what's up so I'm thinking I can probably stick maybe three batches at least per steamer pot so we'll see maybe I can fit all six I don't know. I haven't done them yet. <laughs> this is a brand new thing. I'm speculating. But I did do three more um, balls. They're so cool like that. On my ball winder, which is super awesome and amazing. And um, so this makes it so much easier to be able to use the knitting machine and make those tubes. So um, super yay there. And uh, then I can dye away that yarn. And this is a, a worsted weight um, Peruvian Highland wool. So it's got some texture to it. It'll be interesting to see how, it, I think it's gonna soften up a little bit through the dye process. So after I wash it, I think it's gonna be a little softer. So I'm excited to see what that looks like and feels like. So I'm still making good progress on my scarflet. So I figured I would bring it over again nice nice ball I like like my yarn balls they're quite quite fun had a hair needed to remove it immediately for some reason but I uh, did some knitting out in public got through another hole there and I'll continue doing some more knitting I'm getting pretty close so if I look at it from a scarflet standpoint and just something I can stick around my neck uh, you know I'm really close to being able to get to that point and then as far as the head goes, I'm getting close too. So um, just a couple more sections I'm thinking and then it'll be adorable that way. Uh, I think I'll call the pattern at that point and then um, uh, make notes for how to adapt it. Essentially with this pattern I'm thinking, you know, the main piece of information is how to start an increase and then how to, how many rows in between the openings essentially and just you know giving notes on the opening that and uh, you know how to and it's basically still the same thing so it's like make one um, cast on which I used the bottom and then I just did a slip uh, like a slip cast off on top so it's it's a very simple in the fact that it's just repeating um, notions and it's not really anything new even at the end of it which is really cool so I'm excited to see how it uh, finishes out. I'm excited to see some patterns. I'm just gonna offer it for free. Yes, I, it would be magical and smart of me to, you know, do some testing and stuff first, but I'm not really, <laughs> I'm just gonna let it wing it. So that is my method. I am winging it and, you know, taking it seriously, yes, but you know, I really don't have the 
that. I, I don't know people that do test things. I don't have the following to do that. I might, I might not know I do, but I kind of like to have this ready for uh, the end of the month for the yarn crawl that I'll be doing um, uh, with uh, Rabbit Row yarn. So I, yes, yes, yes. Barb, if you're watching this, yes, I'm not going to test it. <laughs> I'm just going to have it available. You can look at it. I'm sure your your insight, Barb. I'm talking to one person here. Will will be more than enough for me to be able to say yes, this will work. No, it won't work. And I'm just winging it. I'm just winging it. I'm gonna have fun with it. And you know, I'm welcoming any questions as well. So as I'm finishing out the uh, last parts of this, I am going to be also doing uh tutorials so i'll be able to list that separately here on uh youtube and just show my process of just the simple openings that i'm doing so um and again that also showcases how i'm casting on and casting off at the same time so like it's it's so inclusive of a tutorial that it really just kind of works so i will have that available i will film it differently than this so I'm going to film it top down so it's easier to actually see and interact with so huzzah how about that how about that as I'm knitting and then I go past the thing but this is so easy to go oh, wait I did the wrong stitch I'm just going to pull it out that one stitch and then correct it so it's easy because it's also multiples of um, five stitches so it's only it's like 10 in the middle and then five on each side and then two on each side. So it's pretty, if that makes any sense. It's very balanced. It's very easy to follow fun thing. I'll probably go finish it and then go, man, what else am I going to do? Cause I want to keep going with this, um, concept. So it's probably what I'll do. Maybe I'll do a, a sample and then do another one right afterwards. So that's probably, probably what's going to happen. So yay do a couple of samples for shops even so how about that being realistic and a producer of things and sharing the love of completed object and me completing multiple objects is a big deal um because i haven't done much completing of objects recently in the knitting and crocheting so of course i've got octopus which is around here somewhere and um, so we'll be working on that pattern next too. That's a, like I've gone through a little bit. It's a little bit more in depth for figuring this, that like that part out. I need to play with the yarn a little bit more. I wanted to, I did yarn that I knew I wasn't going to necessarily offer for sale and then be able to do kits with. So um, I just wanted to make the octopus. So that is, that process so i got part of it done and then i can do the other part once i have the yarn so this one i already have the yarn and then it's fairly straightforward for me, for me to dye more so i have that in the works in the next week as well dyeing more yarn for this amazingness so that is exciting i'm feeling a little bit more together about my creative stuff than i have been the last few months it's been a weird year Lots of just, I felt like I stalled a bit. And so now, especially with all the um, events and things coming up and I don't know, I just feel like I'm something switched and I'm feeling maybe it's just weather. Maybe it's, you know, something else that I'm, I'm not paying attention to, but um, you know, I'm feeling a little bit more uh, focused and more ready to tackle whatever and bring on new concepts and things. So I'm encouraged by my mental state and my, um, just my energy and, and interest level in it. And then also trying to balance that and knowing that my, um, my other job is going to get real busy in the next, um, month and a half as well. So, so just trying to keep that balance and keep myself focused on the things that I want to achieve. Um, and try not to overcommit because I very, very easy. It's very easy for me to do. Um, so 
that's just something I'm aware of. I'm trying to set myself some good um, boundaries to pause on saying yes to everything. And then I'll put some actual thought into it. And also do contemplate any other events that I want to do. And make sure that I'm set up the best that I can be for those as well, too. And then maybe I, there's a big one that I am still kind of throwing around not doing. So I'm trying to trying to figure out what to do with that and go from there. So, you know, that's, that's where, where I am. I, another thing that I'm, I'm really kind of, I'm pausing so hard as I'm saying this, trying to figure out is the online realm because I have such, um, I have more success definitely uh, I think in person than I have online. I haven't uh, I've honestly made any sales on my shop online. So I know that that part of it is, you know, just having my own thing, being my own marketer, seeing that I have um, opportunity there, showing that I have a shop for instance, versus, um, you know, just gonna be showing random things that I'm doing and not really pointing to the fact that I, I'd like people to buy my yarn. So, or my tapestries or my whatever. So. Um, part of that is intriguing in making patterns and then offering different options. So having something that's digital might draw more attention and then, oh, you're here, by the way, here's this yarn for this. So I'm kind of working through some layers, some how to get interactions. I know that there's going to be a point where you know, theoretically, it could just kind of take off at some point and be going, oh my gosh, I remember this time when I wasn't that busy, but I feel like I've been waiting for that and it hasn't happened. And then, you know, just kind of re-looking at myself and saying, well, you know, part of it is, you know, you, you also don't have it because you haven't done the work for it. So I'm um, trying not to be hard on myself in this. I'm just trying to be honest with myself in this. And then also use it as a motivator to say, hey, what are my ways of doing this what are my um you know what can I do what what do I can have control over and I think that there's a lot in life that you know I have control over we have control over and so just trying to be understanding realistic and being able to reflect and set realistic goals uh it's kind of where where I'm at and and how to, um, you know, push myself, how to encourage myself and to go after the things that I want to go after, you know, what, what do I want? And so I think I'm, I'm at an age in, in the development plate, developmental place that, that I'm realizing that, you know, I can go after whatever I want. It's just a matter of, you know, what, what, what am I doing to, that is maybe blocking myself? So, or what have I, have I not gone after that I could have, or, I mean, I, I'm not saying in the sense of, of reflecting on, you know, what I didn't do versus what I did do. It's more like, what do I, what do I want to do from here? Um, and so being present in the moment, but then also looking at a realistic plan for how to achieve something um, else in the future. So it's, it's a mix of, of present thought and then slight future thought because I don't want to get ahead of myself but those are my thoughts those are my ramblings those are my musings today um it's kind of deep but it's really where I'm at I'm just ready for something to either get you know just a little bit better or a little bit easier on myself so I'm kind of looking at avenues to make that happen my yarn ran away but that's okay it didn't go far so and then just using being able to say, hey, I can control more than I think I can. So I'm um, going after things and trying to change it for the better. So that's where I'm at. That's what I'm going to do. So you'll see kind of as I'm working through it on here, I think that having something that I'm recording every day, you'll probably see a change in my either tone or my focuses or I know like for instance, like when I started the videos compared to where I am now, you know, the reasons I'm doing them really are just to keep my creativity at the forefront and not getting lost in other things or things that are distracting or not focusing on 
you know things that I can control. So that's that's what I'm what I'm doing right now. So thanks for listening to me ramble about my personal journey. Uh, it's also really kind of weird for me to be a share or so in a sense so it's kind of this is an avenue for me to be more open to be more authentically me and uh try to make sure that i've, I've got it out there so that <laughs> maybe i know that it exists and i've said it out loud and you know these are the things that i want to go after so that's what the whim of the day is um so hopefully i'll have some more action to show you on my yarny goodness tomorrow i'm planning on getting some progress there since I gotta have some yarn out. I also have some more skeins I can dye for tomorrow and then I have some more coming in in the next few days that I'll be dying in the next week. So yay for yarn and uh, it's just magical. So I'm glad you're here with me. I hope you have a good rest of your day and we'll see where the wind takes us tomorrow. Toodaloo!